is going to be my last video on a for loop program. It's a very interesting program that many people are given in their papers and stuff. I, I when I first learned this program, like I think a year or two two years ago, I, I was really fascinated by it. It's called uh, a perfect number. So perfect number. That's what we'll call our class. Basically, it's a program to check whether a number is perfect or not. Now you must be thinking, what's a perfect number? It, it's really simple. Um, basically, a perfect number is one um, which is equal to the sum of its factors except the number itself. So I think that should make it quite simple for you. It's a number which is equal to the sum of its factors except for the number itself. So basically, if you have a number six, it, the factors are one, two, three, and six that it divide they divide it completely but if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 it will obviously go over 6 because you're adding something to 6 that's why you don't add the number so I've defined the class and the function for you yeah. so let's get into the code uh, let's say in sum of factors and make it equal to 0 initially so we go since we're not including the number let's just start a loop from 1 to less than the num less than the number won't put an equal to because we don't want to add the number so we, we don't even need to check so what we do is sum of rather if num mod i equal to equal to 0 this is basically saying if i is a factor of the number then sum of factors plus equal to i shortcut operator remember so and then you type system dot out or println rather I'm, I'm really sorry um, before printing the factors you have to check whether the sum of the factors is equal to the number if that condition is satisfied you print system dot out dot println sum of factors plus and then maybe we can print system dot dot print ln it is perfect and else we can print system dot out dot print ln not perfect so uh, this is a pretty simple program i know it looks a bit tough at first but I'll explain it to you guys and I think you should get it so you define your class your function you take a number input what you do is you define a variable called sum of factors what this does it is stores all the factors of the number it keeps on adding them and finds the sum so since a perfect number you don't include the number itself the loop goes from less than number not less than equal to and if num mod i equals 0 is basically saying if it's a factor if i is a factor then add it to the sum and the clause is that if the sum of factors is equal to the number then it's a perfect number so if the sum of factors is equal to the number you print perfect or you print it's not perfect so let's try this out and the first perfect number that I know is 6 so 6 is equal to 6 the sum of factors is equal to the number and it prints it is perfect let's try it with another number let's say 24 which is not a perfect number so it prints not perfect let's try it with 22 I'm not sure whether this is perfect or not I don't think so not perfect um, I can't really think of a perfect number right now guys I'm sorry but other than 6 I, I can't think of any 1 is a perfect number and 1 will obviously always give you a result a prime number is never a perfect number because a prime number only has two factors 1 in itself so unless you're using 1 or 2 or something like that it's never a perfect number um, I can't think of any other perfect numbers right now but you guys can try this code and I'm sure it will work so that's all for this video I'm gonna start with a new topic from another one so uh, have a good day like subscribe whatever you want bye